Now, I don't know if you saw my good friend Llama's video the other day. There he is in the top corner. Now, he's basically took on the mad challenge of taking Vanarama players and putting them in the Premier League. So, he came to me for the tactic. I know just the man. Evening, Stinger. Yeah, I need you to design me a tactic for a team of non-league players to help them compete in the Premier League. Don't be ridiculous. No one can design that tactic. Come on, you must have something in that back catalogue of yours. Hold on, hold on. I might have something that can work, but it's pretty unorthodox. Now then, with that being said, we've managed to get a tactic that did somehow manage to do this. 40 wins out of 44, and it gets better. 138 goals, only conceding 36. Let's have a look at it. So then, as you saw in the little intro there, this tactic has destroyed the National League and maybe that's not too surprising with all the best players, but still only losing twice. And if we have a look at the player stats, first off, we'll look at goals. We'll ping that in there and you can see the two top scorers, two out of three, are two of our boys. It gets more impressive though when we go to average rating. Are you ready for this? This is pretty ridiculous. We'll press this and bang, diddly bang. I think about the top 17 there, we've maybe got 12 or 13. The next one I want to show you is the key one, assists. And we've got my man Rob Hall there. Let me show you Rob Hall. This is Rob Hall. For me, he's too good for the National League, by the way. But if we just take you down to his statistics for the season, 29 games, 8 goals, 20 assists, 2-0. And this man was my Enganch. That's right, and Enganch worked in the National League. There's a little glance of the tactic there. I'll show you the final version later in the video because I wanted to test it with a more realistic National League team. So this led me to starting a brand new game. And I wanted a team that wasn't expected to do much. And right at the top, Aldershot predicted to finish 17th. Them, ideal. So Aldershot were the chosen ones for this tactic. So we go straight to the tactic screen. I'm gonna load in the tactic. We go down here, and I have made a couple of tweaks to that tactic from the Premier League. There is the Baywatch National. Chuck that in there. And that's the bad boy we're going to use. You'll see the team instructions down the side. We'll go through all the different player instructions later on in the video. There's your little snapshot. Now, to keep it realistic, because the Van National is pretty brutal and you can get transfers in any time you want, the other thing I'm going to do is go to responsibilities, transfers, just there. I'm going to delegate the transfers to the director of football so you can bring players in as and when they're needed because lots of players at this level are on no contract. Other than that, it's time to go on holiday. We'll see how this tactic does. When we go on holiday there, use current map tactics, and we'll go all the way to the end of the season. And let's see how all the shot do. Now, I wasn't expecting much, but what we got, well, I'll show you now. Have a look at this. Predicted to finish 17th. My all the shot boys go and finish second just, and with over 100 points. Now, look at this above me here, all the shot, Magnificent. They're supposed to finish down here where Eastley finish. They finish second. They win 31 matches. They only lose six. The defensive record of absolute kings only conceded 28. Scoring 86. So for the record, that's the best goal scoring and the best against. They only succumb to money bags Wrexham and come second in 102 points. Now remember, in this formation, we are playing an enganch, which is madness in the National League. But check this out. We're going to the player stats screen. You can find this on the stats screen there and just drop down to player overview. If we drop one of these down here, down to key passes, so most key passes in the league, you'll see my Enganch Toby Edser with 142. So he did do the role some justice. Let's have a look at him. There's Toby. You've got to be fair, he's a pretty average player, right? Not great, but his average rating of 7.15. He chipped in with 11 assists, but don't forget that 145 plus key passes. Absolutely vital. So, so close to promotion for Aldershot. Over 100 points, though, I think you'll agree. That's pretty decent. And without further ado, here is the tactic. This is the one that the Great Lama took to the National League, to the Premier League. So, National League to Premier League, all the best players, and they gave it a hell of a shot. But for the National League, I just made a couple of tweaks to it down the side there on the team instruction panel. The role stayed the same. What I will say is, if you do give this formation a go, the key role, the enganch, Check out my video I did on the enganch and you'll see that I don't recommend you use it all the time. If you find it struggling to get the ball, not get into the game, or if the opposition have a defensive midfielder and it's kind of cancelling him out, flip him. To me, I would flip him to a shadow striker, but it's up to you what role you go for. For me, I'd flip them two between each other, rotate, depending on what match. 
We've got our sweeper keeper in goals. We've got two fullbacks on attack. They're going to have a couple of PIs, which we'll get through later on. But we need them to get high up the park to supply the width. Because we've got no one up front. We are playing this narrow formation. Two centre-backs. We don't need them playing ball playing at this level. So they're literally centre-backs doing their defensive job. The shield in front of them is a defensive midfielder on support. So occasionally he can step into that role there. A box-to-box -box midfielder working hard up and down. These little PIs will show you as well. He does some other cheeky ones. Next to him, we've got our attacking midfielder, Armazala. He's going to be getting into these areas, backing up the fullback. The enganch in that role there, making things happen, creating key passes. And up front, the goal machines. We've got our target forward and our advance forward. And by the way, these two boys, Justin Almalazar there, scored 30 goals in the season. And his partner, Harry Paniato, could I have got any harder names, by the way? Chipped in with 15 as well. Now, it may surprise you that we've gone for an attacking mentality, but at this level, it's just better to go for it. And you did see that it did help us by becoming the top scorers in the league, but we also kept them out of the back as well. In possession, now, it's pretty basic stuff here. We're fairly wide because we are playing a narrow system. There's not a lot of sense in going really wide. You can see the approach play. I haven't ticked anything. Passing is shorter just to take a bit of risk out of it. A standard tempo, and that's it. When we get to the final third, we're hitting early crosses to get those strikers involved because I think those strikers are going to be better than a lot of defences they come up against. We're playing for set pieces at this level. They are vital. And we're going to commit a few defences as well by running at the defence. In transition, it's dead dead simple. We're going to counter press and counter. We're going to try and win the ball back as soon as we lose it. And when we do win it back, we're going to counter and leave these three here to be the defensive rock. And out of possession. We're a standard line with a high line of engagement. Occasionally, away from home, we would drop that back to standard. But that's the way we approach games. First, tighter marking. We don't trigger press as often as you may think. Now, a lot of teams will go hell for leather. We drop it back a bit. And in the Lama's tactic that I did for him, it was way up here. But I just thought, we're going to drop it back a bit on this one. And we're going to get stuck in as well. You are, of course, free to make changes all you like. But that's the way I went with it. The one change I would do is that in Ganch, I would rotate him with a Shadow Striker. Possibly Mazala dropping back to support for away games as well. If you're a bit lazy like me and you just want a direct download of the tactic, jump in the Discord, which is down below in the description of the video. And the tactic download is available in one of our Discord channels. For now though, if you want to watch the player instructions, they're coming up next. So crew, that is the tactic. It was born out of Lima's crazy challenge of the National League in the Premier League. Be sure to check out that video. But what can we do with this tactic? All the shot, no problem. Give it go yourselves, let me know how you go. I'll catch you in the Discord soon.